First things first, I'm the realist. No, but this thing, it's hard to compare the size, but I mean, this thing is, it's hand size. I mean, it's, it's pretty small, but here's what I'll say. Um, I thought originally, oh, got some drowns on there. I thought originally this was going to be a flat burr grinder. It is not. Um, you can tell I've been using it, testing it, breaking it in. Uh, it's a conical burr. That's okay. That's what I use right now. The burrs are very sharp. Um, so they kind of warn you about this. Uh, it doesn't really have the safety features some of the other more expensive ones have, where you may not be able to access this, or it may be taller, so you can't get your hands in there. You could definitely turn this on and stick your hand in there. It does have a stop feature uh, where if it has resistance, it'll stop. It won't start again. Um, if you flip the power switch on and off, uh, then it'll start again. So you can see. It's not very fast, but it is very, very quiet. Um, I mean, I've got some big grinders. I've got some grind masters here. These things are loud. They're workhorses. They churn out a ton of beans. But if you've got a little espresso machine and you want something consistent, you've got a stepless uh, adjustment. There is an option to have it stepped, but it doesn't include those. It looks like, let's see. You can kind of see these little holes here. And those match up with these. So it could have been stepped. It's an option, it looks like. Probably manufactures a whole bunch of different ones. You can kind of see in there. Yeah, these birds are sharp. This little white uh, disc, uh, that is kind of like your friction bearing. So that rides on here, and as you push it, it the burr, it gets closer. It's hard to really see. But it works, uh, it looks like. You get a little screw there. I haven't taken the whole thing apart yet because I was just testing how, how the grind is. Is it consistent? Um, and this was oiled. Uh, around these threads, so I tighten it all the way. And you can see it tightens all the way to about one. And what you can't see, uh, let me take this off again, one second. Did that while I had it off. All right, so if you remove this, we'll stick that right here. This is your outer burr. We can take that off. It just lifts out, but you gotta, you gotta be able to grip it. All right, so this is uh, the outer burr. At that. Some of you might know burrs better than me, but they're super sharp, pretty consistent. Even these little ones are sharp. You've got some springs in here. That's uh, what keeps it, uh, puts resistance on it. And then as you sc screw it down, it presses in there. But check that out. You've got three little one, two, three at the bottom there, little sweepers to sweep all the grounds out your little hole here. And it's pretty effective. So it also came with a little broom, a little broom brush. That's great for cleaning the whole thing, getting in there. Um, 
it's but it's pretty effective I mean with the sweepers and if the sweepers don't get it you've got your little bellows I mean they would go on that but you can still let's see can I get anything yeah there's nothing left in there the bellows are a great addition something that comes on a lot of higher end grinders uh, let's clean this real quick Doo -doo. What can you see this? Um, that white stuff that's that's rice um, I was gonna break in the burrs a little bit with some rice but the rice because it's a uh, a little smaller and because the the blades are moving a little slower than what you may be used to it can really pack itself in there so where this goes the rice can almost fill every little piece so it adds a lot more resistance than like a big fat coffee ground sitting every you know couple millimeters versus just packing it so it would grind it would stop it would grind it would stop but i mean it's hard to really compare but the consistency is pretty good i mean that's all coffee on my hands but it's pretty consistent i saved it because i don't know i don't know maybe there's something i could do with rice flour rice dust the same for the coffee. I mean, this is like level one. Um, it's mixed in there with some other stuff, some more coarse grounds. But it came with two little, I'm making a mess of this, nice review. Came with two little lids for your little ground container. I do wish it would have came with a solid one. Uh, so it came with this little rubber one that fits in there. Um, and then I got my little broom. Go to work here. It, so you, you come in at an angle and then it seals. And you just make sure it's tight. That way, when you get in static, it doesn't go everywhere. It stays right in here. Uh, the only downside of this, the bellows works really good, and it will pop it up. So let me stick this right back here. I'm going to put you down for a second. Let me do this on here. So it kind of, all right, so we're back. And then it, see, now it's it on like a half. It doesn't quite go to zero. If you lined it up properly, you could, when you're screwing it together, you probably could. So here, but what I'm gonna show you is the bellows, they slot on there. And you have a lid, so you drop your beans. And then when you're done, to get the grounds out, any dust, you hit it. But here's what happens when you hit it. Good. So the rubber seal, it lifts up. But you also have a metal one. which just slots on there like that. It looks like it may, at one point, have been designed to be a full seal with like an o-ring because there's this beveled edge for like an o-ring um, but that wouldn't allow you to just slide it on and off so who knows either one's gonna work good might make a little more noise with this one so i like that there's options options are always good for the consumer but anyways i'm really happy with it um it's gonna go to use uh, at my little espresso bar because i don't do too much espresso and i pack my stuff uh, beforehand so 
definitely a good choice uh, if you're looking for something and you don't want to spend, you know, $4,000 on a Melcone. Uh, I think this is going to get the job done for you.